So, unlike my other videos so far, which have relied on plugging in numbers and sort of using tricky thinking to solve problems, this GRE problem is kind of a straightforward math high school type problem. There's some vocabulary that you just need to know. First of all, XY plane, all that means is graph that you've known since maybe sixth grade. X intercept of line K is minus four. What does X intercept mean? It means it's where it crosses the X axis. So let's put that about right here. We're going to say the point is actually negative 4, comma, 0. And line K passes through the midpoint of the line segment, whose endpoints are 2, comma, 9 and 2, comma, 0. Now I'm going to use the benefit of colored decoration here. And the point 2, comma, 0 is going to be x is 2 and y is 0. And then the point 2, comma, 9, x is going to be 2 and y is going to be 9. So that's going to be up here somewhere. What is the midpoint of that line segment? Now, there's a distance formula that you probably will see in some math books if you ever feel like doing the distance formula more power to you 99 percent of the time the questions on the GRE or the GMAT don't require you to know something so fancy as the distance formula I'll go over it at the end of the video but for now the easy thing to notice is that this line segment starts at the point two nine two zero, ends at the point two nine, which means its midpoint is going to be two comma four point five. <clears throat> now they tell us that the line passes through this midpoint right here and they tell us the x-intercept of the line is negative 4 which means there you go there's our line now slope is commonly referred to as rise over run Maybe a little fancier way to write this is delta y over delta x. Delta means change in. So from this point, which I'll call point 1, and this point, which I'll call point 2, we have to figure out the change in x. x goes from negative 4 to 2, that makes the change in x uh, positive 6. And over the same period, y changes from 0 to positive change. Now 4.5 over 6, uh, not so fraction-y, but if we just multiply the top and bottom by 2, we're going to end up with 9 over 12. And if we wanted to be pretty fancy, we could say that's 3 fourths. So there you go, 3 fourths. 
pretty straightforward problem. Some problems there aren't any shortcuts or tricky ways to do them. You just have to know things like how to draw points in the plane and things like what slope means, as well as x-intercept. Now, for the brave people who like formulas, I'm just going to give you some formulas for distance. Um, this is a point, and this is a point. We'll call this x1, y1, and then we have x2, y2. The slope between these two points, uh, remember we said it was the change in y's, well, this vertical distance is exactly y2 minus y1. And this horizontal distance is exactly x2 minus x1. So if you were just given the points and you didn't want to draw a graph and you wanted to plug something into a formula to figure out what the slope is, you could just do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And in our example, that would be 4.5 minus 0 divided by 2 minus negative 4. You can also get the distance formula from this picture if you envision the distance between these two points as the hypotenuse of a right triangle the vertical leg of this right triangle has length y2 minus y1 and the horizontal leg of this right triangle has length x2 minus x1 so the distance which would be d squared I'm using green because the hypotenuse I've drawn is green. d squared is then going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus, as you might expect, uh, I'm going to write the next part with a little bit of red, but I'll, I'll write the rest as in black just to not be too cheesy with the colors. y2 minus y1 squared is the red vertical distance and if you like you can then say oh let's erase this squared and then we'll write a nice ugly square root sign and there you have the distance formula I personally don't subscribe to the uh, distance formula memorization newsletter. I prefer to think about it in terms of this uh, Pythagorean triangle that I draw here. You might ask yourself, what happens if I switch the two points? What happens if I label my x2 and y2 and x1 and y1 the other way, what if I call the point in the upper right x1, y1, and the point in the lower left x2, y2? Well, you can see, first of all, in the distance formula, it wouldn't matter because all I would be doing is switching the order of something that is squared. doesn't matter because x1 minus x2 is negative x2 minus x1 
as an example, I mean, you know, like 3 minus 7 is negative 4, which is negative 7 minus 3. Um, squaring something negative gives you the same result as squaring something positive. So this whole business right here would be exactly the same as what we would get before labeling the point in the upper right as x2, y2, and the point in the lower left is x1, y1. And if you think about it, the slope would also give us the same answer because let's say we did 0 minus 4.5, but then down here we have to be careful to also switch the y's and we get negative 4 minus 2 end result would be negative 4.5 over negative 6 which is the same of course the negatives would cancel negative 4.5 over negative 6 the negatives would cancel and we would be left with a positive slope last little bit that I'll mention which you can uh, look at yourself um, up and to the right positive slope down and to the left negative slope um, 45 degree angle that's a slope of positive 1 because this would be 1, this would be 1, and this would be root 2 that's enough about slope for now. Hope you learned something.